Hello and welcome to today's training. This is the day four of this web design training. I'm happy that we are making huge progress. From the questions I'm, re I'm receiving in my DM, I know that uh, you, you guys are following me. And if in any case you are not following, you are confused about anything, please don't hesitate to come to my DM like I always say. So in the comment section of this video, I'm going to pin a comment there. So feel free to click on that, that link, register, and then get into a WhatsApp group where you can have access to my DM and send me all your questions, comments, or observations, okay? So yesterday, we were looking at how to register a domain name and a hosting plan with InterServer. So you know that uh, it's not free. So but today, I'm going to show you how you can get a free domain name, at least, for you to practice. Uh, web design. So all that you'll be learning, you, you can be doing it on that free uh, domain name and free hosting. It's, it's a one year plan. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And there are many platforms that you can use, but today we are going to be using Infinity Free. I'll be showing you how to do this with Infinity Free. Okay? So without waste of time, let's dive into it. So we will just head to infinityfree.net infinityfree.net so when you come to infinity free click on client area so you don't have an account already so click on sign up we are going to create a new account so click on sign up so you input your email address Then your password. Confirm your password. Accept. Terms of service, I'm not a robot, create new account. So verify your email address, I'll now open my email. And then click on verify email. Verify email address. So once I verify my email, it will take me straight to my dashboard. So this is my Infinity Free dashboard. So Infinity Free gives you three opportunities to create uh, different domain names. So you can have three domain names on Infinity Free for free, and you use it for one year. So click on create account now. When you click on create account, we take you to this place, create a hosting account. So input your domain name here, maybe separate technologies. So you have separate technologies, and then there are some domain uh, extensions here. You select the one you like. So let's use this uh, apz.com. So we're using apz.com. So now click on search domain. So if this domain is available, they will give it to you. If it's not available, you need to come and change the subdomain name to another one. So as you can see, success. The domain name separate technologies.apc.com is available. So we are now going to uh, if you want to put a level on it, you can put a level here. This is just to differentiate between your between one domain name and another. Since you have three opportunities to create them, so you can have three. So how will you differentiate them? You now put a level to you so that it will show on your dashboard. Step step. 
your username to be generated automatically, password will be generated automatically. So you can just leave that, click on, I'm not a robot. Then click on create account. So success, your account has been created with the username this. So uh, Infinity Free gives you access to a C panel, which is this. But let's let's first uh, view the our client area so that we see the details of this domain name and the hosting plan. So click on view client area. So as you can see here, this is a, my client area view. So you have your status, the status of this domain name, active, hosting plan active. So you now have FTP details here. So if you are going to push your website to the hosting plan, through FTP, these are the details uh, that you use here. Then my SQL details are here. The main uh, sub and sub domain details here. So this is your client area. So we are going to open our cPanel and install WordPress into this hosting plan. So click on Control Panel. So scroll down. And then click on click on I, I approve. Scroll down. On the software, click on Softaclos Apps Installer. So look at WordPress here. Click on install. So this is the WordPress setup. So our domain name is here. Leave the in directory uh, empty. Yeah, this is the version of the WordPress 6.0. So we are going to put our site name here, which is Saprox, Saprox Technologies. Then our site description. Learn and master digital skills. So uh, I just put admin as my username. Then this is the password. I decide to change this password. So I'm going to change it to so that's my password there. Email address is there. The language is English. So I'll scroll down. This is a default theme that comes with WordPress. I'm not going to change any theme now. So just scroll down and then install. So congratulations, the software was installed successfully. WordPress has been successfully installed at this domain name. Administrative URL is this. So we are quickly, I'm going to visit my website now. So right click on this domain name and open. So it's opening here, as you can see, this is seproxtechnologies.abc.com. This is the domain name we just got some seconds ago. So as you can see, this is my website, Separate Technologies this is the new, brand new website. Here. So if I want to log into my dashboard, WordPress dashboard now, just put slash login. So I now use my username, just add me, then the password I use. Now login. So this is my WordPress dashboard here. I see this is my domain name. So now quickly come to appearance. Come to teams. 
So search for Astra. Then it's called. Activate. Activate it. So when you review your site, so visit site. You see that the structure of our website has changed. So let's go back and import with the website into this uh, hosting plan. So come back to logins, click on add new. Search for starter templates. So install now. And then activate. So plugin activated. So now scroll down. It is still under plugins. Scroll down there, come to standard templates. This is a new plugin we just installed now. Click on C library. So you are here, scroll down, build your website now. Select Elementor. So you now scroll down and select a template here. So let's go with this. So click on it. So skip and continue. Come down, continue. So you come to this place, you can leave this page. Just click on submit and build my website. And then your website starts installing. As you can see, we are building your website. So installing required things, plugins, forms. So congratulations, your website is up and ready. So view your website here. So I'll click here and view my website. So this is our new website. As you can see the domain name here, separate technologies for epc.com. This is our new website here. So Let's have to do that. So now you can you can just go ahead and edit your website, change the content, change the pictures, and all of that to suit what you want. So that is it, guys. In, so in our tomorrow's class, I'm going to be showing you how to use WordPress dashboard. So I will walk you through all the features on the, the WordPress dashboard and how to use that to effectively design your website, okay? So that's what we are going to be looking at tomorrow. So go ahead and practice what we have done in this class. Secure yourself a free domain name and a hosting plan on Infinity Free. So thank you very much for being here and bye-bye.